the overview of mechanism of transplant rejection you know it all starts with allo recognition that is the graft which we implant it can either be a kidney or a liver or a pancreas or a small bowel we call it as allo that is someone else graft or someone else organ is there in someone else body and uh, our body recognizes it as a foreign particle and next is the t cell activation and differentiation and third is the effector mechanisms and fourth is the role of b cells so why we need to know is about because only when you know the stages of how it's going to act in the body and how it's going to cause rejection then we'll understand how to prevent rejection that's the entire point of it and the types of rejection which we need to know is hyperacute rejection which happens immediately after transplant which is more common in kidney transplants in liver however we have never seen hyperacute rejection and second is acute cellular rejection which happens within few months of transplant acute humoral rejection or antibody rejection which happens majorly in kidney transplants and of course we do see that in uh, liver and chronic rejection of course it happens in any transplant and uh, how do you prevent it by using desensitization protocols induction therapy and maintenance immunosuppression and the treatment how do you treat rejection at various stages one the acute cellular rejection the treatment is different acute humoral is again it's different chronic rejection is completely different and what are the strategies for achieving tolerance tolerance is a very 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 fascinating subject today in transplant you know if you ask me okay what is the next big thing which is going to happen in transplant what you know in 10 years down the lane what are we looking at it we are looking at tolerance the tolerogenic capacity how to do transplants without immunosuppression is it even possible so we are heading there probably in uh, you know this 2030 we might come up with some brilliant you know piece of innovation which is going to uh, you know help us all and uh, make survival better so the basic concept so rejection is the end result of recipient's immune response to genetically determined elements present in the transplanted organ and these elements are usually proteins that are dissimilar like i said between the donor and the recipient and they are known as transplantation antigens or allo antigens we don't use the term transplantation antigens we always use the term allo antigens and the transplanted organ itself is referred to as allogenic graft or more simply as allo graft so we we call it as graft we don't say it is an organ we say okay there's a graft rejection is happening the graft clot uh, you know there's an hat there's an hepatic artery thrombus in the graft there is a renal artery thrombus in the graft the graft is not functioning so we always use the term graft and it, it might sound sophisticated but yes it is i mean some kind of sophistication you know the transplant surgeon deserves and it's an immune response mounted against it as an allo immune response so this picture might look complicated but i will tell you how it happens so the first see there is a kidney graft in this picture right so uh, this is the kidney graft and what you are looking at is a dendritic cell so the dendritic cells in general are the antigen presenting cells so these dendritic cell antigen are uh, the dendritic cell which are responsible for presenting it to the recipient's mechanism immune mechanism so this dendritic donor cell you know gets engaged with the recipient dendritic cell so that's how it happens and then they go via the lymph nodes transport of allo antigens to the lymph node happens to the afferent vessel and there the activation of t cells generation of effector t cells by either a direct mechanism or an indirect antigen presentation mechanism and uh, what you need to know next is about the cd4 cells the recipient cd4 effector cell you see in red color over there and they go through the efferent lymph vessel and there they pair with the recipient cd8 and then together they go and attack the graft and that is what we call it as rejection when they start attacking the graft sensitizing them as a foreign body inside someone's body then we call it as rejection when the graft cells are being killed or culminated and second is they trigger an intense inflammatory cytokine react and where the cytokine secretion happens and it is flooded so when you do the biopsy you will be able to appreciate it completely